Welcome to the Dog Advisory Council, a trusted resource for dog owners and enthusiasts. Today we will be talking about if dogs can eat mayonnaise and how safe is mayo for dogs. Dogs can eat mayonnaise, as most mayonnaise recipes don't contain any ingredients that will cause your dog harm. However, mayonnaise is very high in fat content, and this can create problems for your dog's health, such as pancreatitis and obesity. Generally speaking, dogs can safely eat mayonnaise. Unlike many other human foods, mayo doesn't have any active components that are dangerous or harmful to dogs, typically. In this case, we're talking about traditional, plain mayo from a grocery store. Mayo is very high in fat content, and having too much of it, too regularly can cause poor health in dogs. The most common ones include obesity and a higher risk of pancreatitis. Most dogs will love mayonnaise because it's combining fats for a delicious snack. However, if you have a very fussy dog, he may turn up his nose at it. Generally, dogs can have approximately a tablespoon once in a while. This is enough to be a treat, but not enough to cause a problem for his health. The key with portioning in dogs, of course, is in its frequency. If your dog has a tablespoon of mayonnaise every single day, that's too much. Just occasionally as a treat is fine. As well, adjust this portion depending on the size of your dog. A tablespoon for a chihuahua is much more than a tablespoon for a golden retriever, after all. When in doubt, check with the vet, too. In today's day and age, there can sometimes be dangerous ingredients in mayonnaise when it comes to dogs. Dangerous ingredients in mayonnaise can include Seasonings Since mayo is intended for humans, they don't always list seasonings in their ingredients. For humans, this is harmless. For dogs, though, many spices can be dangerous. For example, dehydrated garlic and onion are popular spices that can be dangerous for your dog even in small servings. Soy. This is a popular additive to mayonnaise. While it isn't dangerous to dogs across the board, soy allergies are very common amongst dogs and can cause a severe allergic reaction. If your dog is allergic to soy, you'll want to check the ingredients very carefully. Flavored mayonnaise. These days, there is more than one kind of mayonnaise. If you are getting any kind of flavor, be it garlic mayo, chipotle mayo, etc., it's safe to assume that it isn't safe for your dog to eat mayo. The only mayo that dogs can have safely is plain, classic mayo. Can dogs eat homemade mayo? It depends on what you put in it. Dogs can eat homemade mayo safer than store-bought mayonnaise just because the person who made it will be able to ensure that it is safe for the dog when they list off all of the components. If you've discovered your dog has eaten mayo and want to know what to do about it, here are the steps to follow to help you keep your dog's health a priority. Check the components on the mayonnaise. Gauge how much he had. Call the vet to let them know. Watch for symptoms of a problem. Generally, the more he eats, the more of a risk he has. If he's polished off an entire jar when you turned your back, you'll want to grab the jar and take him into the vet. If he's just had a lick or plain mayo, though, you can wait and see how he reacts. Anytime he's had flavored mayonnaise or your spot a dangerous ingredient on the list, call the veterinarian and bring him. Symptoms to look for if your dog has eaten mayo. Just like a lot of situations, some of the most common dangerous symptoms to watch for after your dog's unauthorized snack include Restlessness and excessive panting Indigestion, diarrhea, vomiting Lethargy or fainting Frantic behavior If you notice indigestion, he's most likely had too much of it and is now paying the price. These are considered mild symptoms, but you can keep an eye on it and call the veterinarian if it goes on too long or is especially severe. If you notice stronger symptoms such as restlessness, lethargy, or frantic behavior, he could be struggling with some of the hidden dangerous components. He should definitely get a trip to the vet, just to be sure. Regardless of how mild or severe any or all of these symptoms are, trust your gut and let that lead you to decide whether or not to call the vet. If you want to learn what to feed your dogs instead of mayonnaise, click the link in the description below. If the information in this video was useful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.